Hello everybody and welcome to my second episode of how to create a free Minecraft server. And today I'll be teaching you how to make it so other players can join with you and we're going to be creating, uh, changing our IP address to a static IP address and we will port forward so that other people can join. So we aren't really going to use this server folder so we can just get out of that and um, the first step to uh, creating a static IP is we need this program which will be the first link in the description it's also in the download section of my website dullatora.com and it's PF static IP and once you run that um, super super simple uh, this IP address is currently uh, IP address is currently static um, here I'll just tell you uh, so you click yes and all this stuff is coming so right now this is what it will look like to you this IP address is currently dynamic so let's click make it static uh, just don't really mess around with anything of this so click apply, apply changes, and it will wait a little bit. And we will wait for it to say this IP is currently static. It might take a while depending on your internet connection. Okay, so my IP is now static. That's very um, necessary. Uh, what that does is that your IP cannot no longer change and um, it allows port forwarding to stay so you don't have to port forward all the time yeah anyways um, so once you do that that's it um, now we're going to go into our start menu and search CMD um, it should come up with a program uh, let's click that and type in IP config um, then we'll press enter a bunch com bunch of crap comes up um, really all we need is uh, the Ethernet or wireless depending on what you're on um, they're both the same so it doesn't really matter uh, the default gateway so that's 192.168.0.1 so let's uh, that's all you need to know so after you know the default gateway IP you can go into your uh, internet browser and type that in so uh, here we go um, this is a useful website uh, it's called what's my IP.org. it just tells you your IP we're going to need that um, in a bit uh, but not at the moment so let's go to 192.168.0.1 and click enter now um, my particular modem happens to be quest uh, your modem probably is not the same as mine um, but it's it's really not that hard to find out what modem you have a uh, go to portforward.com and uh, go to let's see port forwarding guides and it has the entire list of modems uh, mine is ZYXEL and oh, okay it doesn't like ad blocker uh, hmm interesting okay and mine is a Q1 zero 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 Z and what am I wanting to port forward uh, there's a bunch of stuff let's uh, go down to minecraft server there we go and here's a guide on how to do it it's a uh, not the most simple uh, but I guess it's uh, it's harder to follow but you know if that's your thing then you can do that so let's go uh, 
back to your modem configuration. Mine happens to be advanced. This is different for everybody. Um, yours most likely won't look like this. And then we're going to go down to port forwarding. So uh, if you want to go to portforward.com and find your exact modem, then click on that and um, it will give you a guide on how to get to a page that looks kind of like this. So um, you can see here that um, uh, I already port forwarded a little bit, so I'll just remove that um, and it will please say please wait. So uh, let's go back to our IP config and we want to look at our IPv4 address. Um, mine is 192.168.0.150. Um, I'm using Ethernet. I have a direct Ethernet connection with my computer. If you're on wireless, then you should probably use this. But um, yeah, if if one or the other doesn't work, then just use the other one, and it will probably work for you. So I'm going to go to uh, this port forwarding. Now this is important. You have to do two five five six five. That's that's what you have to do. This is the default port that Minecraft goes to to connect to servers. So um, once you have that, then you can type in the 192.168.0.150 and TCP, UDP, GRE, uh, it doesn't matter, just do, uh, actually it does matter, uh, do TCP. And once it saves, then we are good to go. Um, yeah, so people can join with this IP address. Uh, anyone that is at least is on your whitelist if you have a whitelist turned on um, they can paste this into your minecraft multiplayer and they can play on your server so uh, if uh, I have someone who wants to play then I just tell them this IP address and they can join um, in the next episode I will show you guys how to uh, change this n bunch of numbers into words uh, and people can type in words because it's probably easier to remember than a bunch of numbers um, and they can join you your server and yeah so that's it for this episode thanks for watching um, if you learned something from this video a like is appreciated and if you want to see more, then hit that subscribe button. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video. See you later.